Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Ooh, welcome back. Um, yeah, finally back. It's been, it's been a minute. It's weird being back because I usually film at least like, you know, what, like twice a week or sometimes more, sometimes less. But anyway, it seems like it's been forever. So, um, what I thought I would do today is, um, it came to my brain not long ago that I am probably the only person on the planet that has not filmed making a zine. So I figured it was time. So in lieu of a uh, journal with me today, I think I'm going to make a zine instead, which is still kind of um, my thought processes and stuff that's going through the day, right? Through my head today, <laughs> which isn't much. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I kind of have everything all, I kind of know what I'm going to do because if I don't, it's going to take forever. Um, and that is like no lie. So let me grab a piece of paper, 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 paper. So I got this paper. This is the size. It's eight and a half by 11, but I got this on Amazon. Um, I guess it's been quite a while, probably last year and I, I need to use it up. So anyway, this is a pack of, well, it says 96 um, pages, and they're just the weight of copy paper, but they have like vintage, um, uh, you know, like tea stain or burlap or whatever, and they're, they're two-sided, they're kind of cool. So anyway, I picked the tea stainy one, which is like that one, and I put it through my printer and um, I printed on top of it a really, really pale, now I can't get these papers back yet. <laughs> uh, a really, really pale text as you can, well, there you go. See the text that I printed on top and the text is really, it's almost see-through. It's just really super light, okay? And so what I did was I printed it out on here and then I took my my piece of paper and it's printed on both sides. I printed it on both sides. I folded it in half this direction and then I folded it in half in this direction and then I, I actually used um, you know a uh, cutter. <laughs> my brain, the brain, um, it's not working. So what I did was, is I just took some, uh, the, my cutter and I just trimmed the top folds off so that you would have, you know, you know, your pages, right? So that's what I did. And then I took my missing stapler. There it is. I took the stapler and I just put it in here and I stapled along the edge. So you will see, open that up. There are three staples. I went ahead and stamped Nick the Booksmith, my little stamp in the back, but I just stamped three, three pieces. Okay, three staples, sorry. So here is my front cover and let's get started. Should I zoom, 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 zoom this in a bit? Oh, don't move camera. Can make everybody seasick. Stop. Okay. All right. So this little zine is going to be about um, like the people that come before us, our families, um, our ancestors, our, you know, the family long past. And so I have decided that it's going to be called Old Oaks and I took a piece of craft paper, and it was basically a paper bag that I had bought something at a store with and they put it in this paper bag. So I ripped out a piece and then I printed an oak tree on some parchment paper and you can do it on regular copy, but you can print it on whatever you want. And then I did a little stitch line down here, not necessary on a zine. You, it's just, you guys know me, I can't, I can't leave well enough alone. So, <laughs> so I am going to glue this. This is going to be my cover. And I'm going to glue this little dude on fur on the front that I got ready already. Because like I said, if I didn't, 
this would be a five hour video. And this is gonna go right here, right like that. Okay, and then I printed out some quotes that I liked. Well, in this one I made up. Um, May the acorns take time to remember the old oaks. And of course that means, you know, kids, you know, young people. I hope they take time to remember all those who came before them and paved the way for them. I think that's important. So I'm gonna put this puppy down in here. Um, ooh, there we go. But what I did, um, I went ahead and I printed with my little, um, you know, these stampy thingies. Um, you can get them at Amazon. I got these at Hobby Lobby, but they, I don't think they have them anymore. And I stamped out um, old oaks. So what I thought I would do is kind of, um, I don't know, let me make sure that's straight, straight-ish. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna cover where I had had printed on my printer this quote, Old Oaks, and I think I'm just gonna kinda do this, just to make it different. So, oh, sorry, I, I made the camera closer, I forgot. So that is my cover, okay. Now let's open it up to this side. And inside the front cover, I have decided to make a little, um, kind of like a guest book, like people that have seen the zine, if they've seen the zine, then they should sign here. So this was just actually a scrap of a notebook paper that I had tea stained and I just stamped on it the little hand and the sign here with my little, my letter stamps. So there's that on this side. And then on this side, I have some pictures that I printed out and here is an old house. It's a house. And where's my this my thing? I don't have to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of put some definition on the edges here a little bit. Not necessary. Um, this was a, a picture of an old house that I printed on parchment paper that I got at Office Depot. So this is gonna go. Mm, I think I'm gonna make it go down in this direction. And I've got the word history here. Now, uh, hold on, I needed some more, some something else. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the house down. I'm gonna put the house down. Bringing that house down with some glue. So let's put this pepper Oh, let's center this one. Let's be quirky and actually center something for once. Okay, okay. So I think I know what I want to say here. But I don't know. See, I didn't get everything ready. Because <laughs> if that happened, you knew, you would know it would be the end of the world. So I didn't want to freak everybody out and the sky is falling. So, I didn't. Mm. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is get another piece of paper. <laughs> get some scraps. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do this over here. So, I, I know what I want to see say I just need to uh, I need to write it down so I've got my little micron pen here and 
I think I'll just write it out. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's just horrible. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna say here. Just a second. I can never cut straight with scissors either. So I've got this little saying, again, one of my own. I don't know why this, you know, why I thought of something like this is, it's silly. So, okay. So is your history a mystery? And I think I will go ahead and put the history word kind of in the middle here. Like this, Mid middle ish. <laughs> and the is your will be kind of up over here. And then maybe we'll cattywampus the a mystery question mark at the bottom. I don't know. Okay, now that will go right above the house. This video may yet be five hours long. <laughs> I will try to be expeditious. I'm just gonna center that as well. We're just gonna we're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants there. Okay, so there's our first little little spread. And now we turn the page and we have this dude. And what I think I wanted to do on this one was I had some of my um, you know this stuff. You know, the stuff, the stuffy stuff. I will get this, I will get this. Hand marble paper, wow. I think I need some caffeine or something. I just, my brain is shutting down already and it's like 4.30. So this is gonna go, I don't know, up over here. I haven't really planned where things are supposed to go, but. <laughs> and then I have this little um, picture of the little kids playing on the bikes. And again, print it out on parchment. And if you make a zine and you want it to be about your family, you know, print your print pictures of your family. I think that would be great. Man, I'm just gonna kind of hug that side. And then I have this quote. This is not mine. <laughs> it's the songs of our ancestors are also the songs of our children. And that makes sense. It's like um, when, when you're a little kid and you're singing, you know, around, you know, ring around the rosy and all those things. Those were, those were made up a long, 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 long time ago. Okay, so there's that. Then on this side, I have another picture that I want with some more uh, little strips of that scraps of the marbled paper so I'm gonna I think I, I, I kind of know what I want to do with with this one pretty much I just kind of cut a strip but I knew that I wanted it to be like um, kind of off to the side and down toward the bottom of the page and then this is a portrait of a soldier of some kind no stripes or anything but he does have a officer's cap on so who knows 
Alright. And I think I'm gonna kind of cattywampus him just a little bit. And then I have this quote for this page. We are all immortal as long as our stories are told. And it's gonna go on the page somewhere. And since the opposite page had a quote on the bottom, I think this one needs to go, you know, not on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Hmm, no, that's good. That's good. So there is the spread. Yeah, let's turn the page. Boom. Okay. Now I have another portrait here. And this is of some workmen sitting outside. And I've got, this is some ledger paper from a ledger I bought on eBay from 1905. And this is one of the Tim Holtz ATC cards that I um, rounded the corners on. Uh, this is from the Dapper Pack, I think. Sounded like I was talking about diapers. The Dapper Pack, not the Diaper Pack. The Dapper Pack. Let's go toward the bottom because when we did this one, it was up near the top. So let's let's switch it around and go toward the bottom. I'm just gonna layer this up, I think. I wasn't sure, but I think I will. So this piece of ledger paper, will get a little bit of glue on it. When people were asking about the, the three-in-one glue, and if I like changed my mind and I like it better than Fabri-Tac, well, no, <laughs> but um, it's cheaper. And I think it's the exact same thing. So Beacon, if you are listening out there, it smells the same, it walks the same, it talks the same. I think it's the same. I do, I do. And it's like four bucks a bottle cheaper. So <laughs> no brainer, right? And Joann's carries it, so. And I'm gonna center the dudes right in the middle. They're just going to sit right there. Aren't you dudes? Okay, and I think I... There it is. And I, I, I knew I wanted a date in there, so I stamped out a little 1905 on the craft paper. And I guess it'll have to go up at the top. Uh, no. no. I'll just do this. I like it up at the tippity top. There we go. Make sure that's some, somewhat center. And then on this side, I don't have any more pictures, but I do have another quote and some fabric. And I mean, every page doesn't have to be, you know, like, slammed with, you know, stuff, right? I mean, that's the, that's the uh, beauty of a zine. Here's a piece of, it's the edge of some uh, computer paper that my husband brought home from work. They were gonna throw it away and he goes, no, my wife will tea stain that and use it in her journals but not with that voice. He, he didn't say it with that voice. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to kind of tack this along the side just for some, uh, just for some interest. So I tea stained the computer paper and then I ripped these little guys off because, um, well, because you don't throw away anything. And I think I'll just kind of, I don't know, Right here. Am I still in frame? Are we still doing okay? And then I've got this little scrap of fabric because I thought that might be cool. And I will just kind of dot some glue on the back. I 
two, and I guess I should have figured out where I wanted it. Well, it's there now, ain't it, Nick? And then I'll put the little quote. I'll read it to you here in a second. Um, over the top of the fabric, just to give it some, some layering. So it says, we are all ghosts. We all carry inside us people who came before us. So that can go there. And then the back. So the back, like I said, I had stamped Nick the Booksmith, but I also um, printed out this dictionary uh, entry for Journey. So, I don't know, put this somewhere. Just because I can and because I printed it out, I might as well use it now. Wasn't sure where I was going to do it, but the only thing left so let's just do this let's put that right there and then I also have um, my my stippity stampities here and I put the end <laughs> because it's the end my friends it's the end so we'll just kind of the non ceremoniously end We have been zined. We are zined. Okay, so here is our front. And open it up. And here is a place to sign. And here's our house with our quote. Here is our kiddos with our quote. And our soldier with our quote. Here's our little workman and our quote on this side. And then on the back. So, aren't zines fun? They're like they're like no pressure because it's it's all you, man. It's it's there's no expectations. There's no you know you do what you want to do, and it's a sheet of paper and you know the scraps that you have in your scraps. <laughs> so I made another one earlier and I thought I would show it to you. And this one um, is a little different because I made it out of a nine by six envelope. So one of those mailing envelopes. And um, what this is, is this is a collection of pictures that I wanted to save. So on the front is this lovely lady and a movie camera. And it says, take a picture, it'll last longer. And then we've got the date, which is today. I went ahead and dated it today since I'm showing it to you. And on the inside, we have a little pocket because I don't know because I don't know and then here is my first page and um, this is just a piece of file folder that I cut out and I made little slots for the picture of the camera the corners to fit into and then I punched the edge um, with this guy and somebody asked about this guy this I got off of Amazon, it is by EK Tools. So let me see if the camera will pick it up. Can you see the EK? EK Tools. And this is a edge binder punch. And there's two different ones. There's a square one and then this little round holy dealy bob thing. So that's where I got it. And then I put some washi tape and then I wrote a collection of journals by Nick the Booksmith. And then on this side, we have one of the journals and that was Beth and she was made at the beginning of 2017. And I backed, I made like little baby mini Polaroids. So this one is backed on this scrapbook paper. This is more of a modern edge looking zine as opposed to a, you know, vintage looking one. This is more of a modern looking one. And so I kept it a little cleaner, maybe a little bit more simple. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm just telling myself self stories. I'm just lying to myself. So anyway, I made the little baby Polaroid and put her up here, named her and date. And then on this side, I did this one and this was Elizabeth. And that was one of the carpetbagger journals that I did back in 2016. 
And the quote, if a picture paints a thousand words, then let a picture inspire a thousand words. And I backed it with some of that craft paper from that bag, some of my um, scraps of my marbled paper, and some washi tape. So that is those, That this is this spread. And then on this one, I used again some of that marbled paper and this was Dream and it was built in 2017. And then our quote, a good snapshot keeps a moment from running away. And then on this side, I backed it with some scrapbook paper that has a camera on it. <laughs> and this baby Polaroid is a picture of Seraf one of the Serafina journals and from 2017. And there she is standing up on end. And I added that with washi tape. Wash it, wash it. And then this page, this was the search for Frankenstein journal on this baby Polaroid with a little piece of washi tape. And that was also 2017. And then a quote, you don't take a photograph, you make it. That was Ansel Adams. And then this was just a piece of like a cutout from a scrapbook pad. This one was the Telltale Heart, and some of you may remember that one from 2018, earlier this year. And then I took a page, um, the Telltale Heart, from one of my Poe books that is falling apart, and I used the pages. <laughs> so here I am immortalizing this page, the Telltale Heart, with a picture of the journal that I made in its namesake. And in the back page, I have another sign here. And I put a little the end, little my little Poe logo that I like to use, and then I signed it. And then at the back, I, I just put one of those little quotes that I uh, took out of that book, and I left the envelope part open so that stuff, stuff could be added into the envelope. So there's this one. It just had a simple little pamphlet, um, three-hole pamphlet stitch, and that's how I sewed the pages in. So there is this little guy. So those are the two that I made. Um, let's see, let's see. What, what did I want to say to you guys? Um, okay, so I have one, two, I have three journals finished and two that are halfway done. So I wanted to get um, at least a group of five or six to show because they're gonna be going up on the Etsy store price Saturday morning. So I wanted to be able to show those like at least by, you know, Thursday morning, I would think. Um, so people can see them if they are interested in those. Um, what else did I wanna say? I should write things down. I really, really, really should write things down. Um, <laughs> you'd think I'd have a journal or something laying around to write stuff down in. Um, let's see, so um, I'm gonna be doing some more paper marbling, and I will, at that time, catch you up on the, the last session's papers that I marbled, because I think this video is already um, very long. <laughs> And it'll take me forever to upload it, so I think I will. I will wait on that. Um, some really cool ones, and then maybe I'll get some more cool ones with the next one, with the next session. Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So I will be back like um, probably Thursday morning with the next with the next video, whatever one, whatever way it may take form or shape. I will be back. I will be back. So make a zine. You guys already probably have made zines. This is like old news. They've been around forever. I just never filmed one. I don't know why I never filmed making one. Um, I wanted to make one to leave at Comic-Con. I Because I dressed up as River Song from Doctor Who. I wanted to make a Doctor Who um, zine and or a few and leave them laying around and I wanted to put um, my name in the back and see if maybe it would get back to me after people wrote in it because I think that would be really really cool and so um, but I didn't do it <laughs> because 
I, I ran out of time and because I had a thousand people at my house. And when you have a bunch of people at your house, you kind of lose track of everything. So time is one of those things. All right, guys, thank you for playing with me today and making some zines. I hope you all make some zines and leave them in places if you choose to do so. Some people choose to leave them and anonymously drop a zine and others just like to keep them or give them to friends and family or, or whatever. So make a zine. They're kind of fun. They're kind of like mini junk journals, except you don't really write in them. You just look at them because they're, they're pretty. All right. Well, I will catch you all in the next video. I hope everybody is doing well and I will see you soon. Bye guys.